Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Leanne and I like sharing budget friendly, easy DIYs here on this channel. Today we're going to be doing some Christmas DIYs because frankly, in my opinion, and according to a lot of you, it's never too early to get started, especially if you're going to be making stuff for your own home or for gifts or to sell at craft fairs, you got to get a head start. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. For this first DIY, I'm using this ceramic pumpkin stack. It is from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have already had it in my stash, but I believe they have it. Well, I know they have it again this year because I, I personally have seen it. Uh, maybe not in all the stores. And the top you can see is kind of broken. I think I bought it like that, but it's okay because I wanted to use it for Christmas. So we're going to give this a coat of um, Waverly in the color... Uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, which I probably could have skipped this step. You'll see in just a second. Um, but I did want to say if you found one of these and it, it wasn't broken on top, I think if you had, um, I don't know the name of it, but the proper sander or grinder that could work on um, ceramic, you could take the top stem off. And actually, I wish I had done that because mine, even though it was broken, still stuck up a little bit. But we're going to make it work just fine. Um, also, you could also just make a pumpkin stack with pumpkins that you purchase. They don't have to be ceramic. Um, but I just found this already done, so I'm using it. So after I painted it, I was like, oh yeah, the words on here and the little like vine, vines, I guess, on it um, are engraved. And so you could still see them. So I'm just taking some lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree and we're going to fill it in, let it dry. And then I'm just sanding off the extra chunks. This is a textured piece anyway, so it doesn't have to be smooth. And we're going to actually add some more texture. But this is going to fill in those words. So to do it a good, again, I would just do this from the beginning before putting a coat of paint. It's really not necessary to paint it first. I just wasn't thinking. We're going to wipe it off clean. And then I'm going to just take a container with a little bit of baking soda and some of my plaster paint. I do also put in a little bit of water um, because my paint is really, really thick. Sometimes it happens at the end. Um, so not a lot because I don't want to dissolve the baking soda or anything. Um, and then we're just going to put a nice thick coat across the whole thing and it just kind of keeps a textured look and I liked it. So that's what I did. You could also do white um, or any color obviously, but I went with the plaster. It's close to white, but it's just a little bit softer and I just felt like doing that. So we're gonna give this a good coat on the whole thing and then let that fully dry. I went into my stash to figure out what I was gonna do to make a hat for our snowman. And I have these stickers. They are from the Dollar Tree from Summertime. Um, this one I'd already painted, but we're gonna use that one. I'm just gonna peel the little like um, sticky stick dot, I don't know what it's called, pop dot on the back off. And then uh, I took a wood piece from the Dollar Tree as well. Those come in a pack. And I'm going to use some hot glue and some wood glue and attach these. And then we're gonna paint this black. Uh, black. Now you could use anything you found in your stash. I literally just went through all of my crafting stuff and kind of looked until I found things. You could also cut the base out of like a piece of cardboard or anything else. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I just was using what I had and I just gave it one good coat in the color ink. If you're new here, I like to share budget-friendly, easy DIYs using a lot of Dollar Tree items, but also just in general budget-friendly. So if you are into that kind of thing, please consider subscribing by hitting the red bell or the red button and then turn on your notification bell, which is right next to it. And that'll make sure that you'll be notified when I post future videos. All right, so once that is dry, I'm kind of going a little bit all over the place because I was working on projects at once. So I already had out my Mod Podge and this faux snow. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but while it was out, I decided to add just a tiny bit of that to the brim of my snowman's hat. So here it is all finished. You can't see the writing at all. And we're going to put our snowman together. I did want to add a little bit of embellishment onto my snowman's hat. So I just grabbed these little tiny red glitter ball beads type things or I guess they're foam. Um, they're from the Dollar Tree. They were just in my stash, but you could use some little red berries. Um, you could add a little bit of greenery, but I just hot glued very carefully because they're small and you don't want to burn your finger while doing this. You could use another type of glue, I suppose, and just put a little stack of three of them on there. So I'm going to hot glue this to the top, just putting hot glue on the parts. Mine is not like flat on the top, so just the parts where the hat and the top meet. And I did later realize that from this angle, you could really see a huge gap there and it didn't look great, but we're gonna fix that in a minute. I have these black buttons from the Dollar Tree. 
um, or you could use something from your stash. You could draw them on with a marker, but I found two little ones in there and glued them on. And then I, this is a fuzzy sock um, that I had used. I think I'd used part of it for um, a snowman's hat in something else in the previous year. Um, but I'm just cutting a strip of that and we're going to tie it on for the scarf. And I'm just tying it in a knot and then I'm going to hot glue the end pieces down just so that they're not, you know, flying up. I'm not adding a face to this snowman. I'm just kind of going for a simpler, I don't know, in my mind it was like more old timey, antique I don't know. Sometimes they did faceless stuff, didn't they? I don't know. This is the look I'm going for, but feel free to add on a face if you want. And I'm just taking little bits of that sock. You can't really see it because my arm's in the way, but I'll show you how it looks finished. And I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue underneath the brim of the hat, and I'm filling in that gap. Um, I just wanted it to kind of look like the hat went down further. So there you can see it. I love how this piece came out. And this is great not just for Christmas, but for the entire winter season. So for our next DIY, I've got these pine cones. They are from the Dollar Tree. And I did um, some painting of one for the, or a couple of them, I think, for um, fall. But I picked up some extras because I wanted to do them for Christmas. So if you can still find them in the Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree actually recently got in, like they're putting out Christmas stuff, but they got in like more of these um, in their fall stuff. So you never know, or maybe you've already picked some up, but we're gonna give it a coat of a Waverly chalk paint in the color white. We're just gonna do a nice good coating. Now, then I'm gonna paint it with this brown oxide um, apple, bar apple barrel paint, but I, um, I didn't wanna go straight with that because it's an acrylic paint and I wasn't sure how many coats I'd have to do to get good coverage. If I had had a brown chalk paint, I probably would have just gone in with that first, um, but you can do that obviously however you want. Just make sure that you let your paint fully dry before doing another coat. And then we're gonna go in with some Mod Podge and this faux snow from Dollar Tree. I did already have this in my stash from last year, but I did pick up more this year and I picked it up from Hobby Lobby. It's actually a little bit of a better deal from Hobby Lobby because their Christmas stuff is only, or is 50% off and theirs is $1.99. So it comes out to, you know, like a dollar. Um, and it's a little bit bigger bag. I thought to look for that because uh, Kristen Kay, um, I love watching her channel. She had done a Hobby Lobby haul, I think. And I do like getting my stuff from Hobby Lobby anyway, but I specifically looked for that um, after watching her video because I was like, oh, that's a good point. Now, if you don't have a Hobby Lobby nearby, you know, you don't have to drive all over the place to save 25 cents. But, you know, if it's convenient for you, I'd go for it. So I coated my pine cone with some Mod Podge and we're going to do this one with some of this faux snow and then you're going to let it completely, completely dry. Now, if I were to do this one again, I probably would just do like hints of it, like just not maybe not the whole thing, just a few different like patches of the faux snow, but however you want to do it is of course just fine. For the other pine cone, I'm going to go in with this champagne colored glitter. This I just had in my stash, so anything you've got, I don't know where I got it from. I think it might have been Hobby Lobby, but it was probably literally like 10 years ago. Um, and I loved how this one looked. You could also use some white glitter. And you're going to let these completely dry, otherwise you're just going to end up pulling all of the glitter or faux snow off of them. But I thought this was like would add a, just a nice subtle little sparkle into the Christmas decor and make it just a little bit, look a little bit like, you know, more wintry. Once it is fully dry, you're going to use some Mod Podge. I poured mine out and it ended up making a mess, but I didn't want to have to t dip my paintbrush back into the Mod Podge bottle and risk getting like a glitter or snow in my Mod Podge. So you're gonna go over this to seal in the glitter and the faux snow just with a very, very thick coat. One, you don't wanna be brushing the stuff off. Guys, I'm sorry. I decided to do my voiceover outside on my porch and something is outside beeping really loud. So I'm gonna try to pull that sound out of the audio, but you might be hearing it. Um, and um, so you don't wanna pull the glitter off and you also, um, yeah, so you, that's why. So you wanna do a nice thick coat just it's going to take a while to dry, but this way you're not brushing off the faux snow. But this will keep it from making a mess in your decor later on. And this is how they came out. It's not like over the top with like the glitter and the sparkle, but it adds a nice little shimmer. So I thought these were really cute and I will be mixing them in with my Christmas or winter decor. For our final DIY, I have this triangle sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to use my hair dryer or you can use a heat gun or a wet paper towel, whatever you want to get the sticker off the back. Now this idea I have seen 
from many people, but um, I have a notebook that I write down ideas from when I get ideas. And when I wrote it down, I had seen this idea from Favi at Arrows DIY, and I'll link her video because she did a better job at it than me, but I had fun with this for my first go at it. So I gave a nice coat of plaster, and then I'm taking a candle, and we're rubbing the wax on it. And this is going to help us get a nice chippy look to our, what we're going to make is a tree. So you can use any tree-shaped or triangle-shaped sign. And um, then we're going to go in with some chalk paint in the color celery. You can do obviously any colors. Just make sure everything is fully dry in between the different coats. And you're going to go in with different colors. And so we're going to let that dry. Then we're going to go in with more wax. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, no you're not. You're going to let that dry and then you're going to scrape and where the wax is or where you place the wax is where the paint should scrape off. And I apologize, this clip is blurry and I'm not really sure why. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe there was just a smudge on my camera. I don't know. I do look forward to doing this again in the future because I feel like I will have a better feel for it now and will do better. But, um, you know, you gotta start somewhere. So don't be afraid to just give it a try. And so then we're gonna add more wax in some different spots and then we're gonna go in with another color. And I'm gonna use Waverly chalk paint in the color Fern. And with this paint, I'm gonna also paint the sides and the back of my sign. I did do two coats on the back of my sign. Oh my word, what is the noise is happening outside today? This paint, I realized I hadn't, you can see it's streaking. I apparently hadn't shaken it up enough, so I'm gonna shake it up. But we're gonna paint all of the edges, and I do two coats on the back. I don't think I show you all of that, um, just because I wanted it to look finished, but I didn't think that using what originally was the front of the sign would work very well for the scraping. So that's why I did what I did. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that really helps me out. Say hello in the comments. Let me know what your favorite DIY is. Are you excited to do Christmas DIYs? Are you saving these for later because you're not ready to get started on them? Let me know. So once that last coat of paint dried, I just went and did some more scraping. So this is just supposed to be kind of like a rustic-y, chippy look, but um, there's lots of people who do it better than me. But that's okay. You gotta practice and learn. But I will link, like I said, I'll link Fabi's video for you. She did it for fall on a pumpkin, um, but same idea. So I do recommend um, sealing this with some Mod Podge um, if you want. I guess you don't have to. So I was deciding what I wanted to do for a stem. So I pulled out one of those little wood pieces and it looks cute, but I kind of wanted something bigger. So I pulled out three Jenga blocks or the Tumbling Tower blocks. Rather, Jenga blocks are much larger. These are the Tumbling Tower game from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use some hot glue to stack them together. Could also use some wood glue. One thing with the hot glue, sometimes it creates a little bit of a gap, but this was rustic-y anyway, so I wasn't super worried about it. And I decided to do three of them all together. I did have to sand the bottom of these blocks because it wasn't totally smooth, and so the tree would have been rocking back and forth. So just keep that in mind. They're not like all perfect. Um, so just make sure that on one side, like the front, that they're all lined up and that you have a flat bottom. And then we're just using a little bit of hot glue to attach that trunk to the base of our tree. And then I'm just going to go in with some antique wax. You could just use some brown paint, whatever you want to do, and brush that on and then wipe it off. You don't have to wipe it off. That just kind of mutes it down a little bit, but you can also just leave it as is and let it dry. You can also use the natural color that would be pretty as well and that is it for this one i am excited to try this uh wax technique again but i do think it came out pretty good that's it for today's video if you like these diys don't forget to give this video a, a thumbs up and if you are new here i would love it if you would consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button down below make sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss out on my future videos and i will see you next time thanks for watching guys bye